Hello everyone, welcome back to Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. In this session, we are going to discuss what is auto transformer, how it works, and how it can be used as a step up or step down transformer. So let's get started. The auto transformer is a special transformer in which a part of winding is common for primary and secondary winding. That means it is it is a transformer only but it contains only one winding we have discussed that the transformer consists of two winding okay the conventional winding conventional transformer consists of two windings one is called as primary winding okay and other is called as secondary winding the primary is connected to supply and the secondary is connected to load okay we have discussed this but the transformer is a transformer only but it contains only one winding it contains only one winding and this only this part of this winding acts as a primary and part of this winding acts as a secondary same winding the part of which acts as a primary and part a remaining part will act as a secondary winding okay according to the requirement and according to that which part is primary or which part is secondary we use that auto transformer as either step up transformer or step down transformer step down transformer okay this is a symbolic representation of auto transformer here only we have this this only one winding only one winding and these are the terminals are brought for connection on the primary side so this part will act as a primary okay and these are the secondary terminals and these are connected to these two points that means this part is acts as secondary okay this part is and this secondary side is connected to load and this is connected to source okay and these are the tappings these are the these are called as these are these are the connection brought out which is which is called as tappings which can be changed with the help of this movable contact this is the movable contact which can be moved with the help of knob like this so this is a single phase auto transformer this is three phase auto transformer this is a single phase auto transformer and this is three phase auto transformer where from this back side we have a plug we have plug to connect to the source and these are the two terminals of the output these are the second terminals to which we connect the load and this is called as knob which is a movable movable contact okay when we move this lock this contact will be moved up or down and according to the requirement we will get the voltage at the secondary side okay here scale is there from 0 to suppose this is for 230 so from 0 to 230 we can vary the voltage okay from 0 to 230 we can vary the voltage with the help of this knob in case of single phase similarly in case of three phase also we have this knob and with the help of them we can change the secondary number of turns so that we will get the required value of voltage at the secondary side okay so this only one winding the part of which is used as primary and part of remaining part is used as a secondary and the working principle is same as the ordinary transformer like when the primary carries current flux is produced and that flux is linking with the secondary secondary winding and due to that the emf gets induced in the secondary winding. the pre-working principle is same but only difference is that the ordinary transformer contains two winding here only one winding part of which acts as a primary and remaining part will act as a secondary winding.
okay so let's see how this transformer can be used as a step down transformer okay suppose this is the winding this is the winding we have this is the a terminal brought this is the b terminal and this middle is the c terminal okay when this a b are connected to single phase supply single phase ac supply that means this will be a and b are connected to supply so the turns between a and b acts as a primary so a b acts as a primary winding the turns which are between a and b acts as a primary winding and this c point and this b point b is common for primary to primary and secondary so this from c to b this portion is connected to load so this c b turns the turns between the c and b acts as a secondary winding okay and we know that v2 upon v1 equals to n2 upon n1 this ratios of transformer from ratios of transformer same here so v2 will be what n2 upon n1 into v1 see here as the n2 number of turns these are the number of turns of the secondary winding so named it as n2 and this total turns are n1 so here n2 is less than n1 n2 is less than n1 so this v2 will be less than v1 because the number of turns are less as compared to primary so voltage voltage will be less compared to primary so we are getting less voltage at the secondary so this configuration operates as a step down transformer because we are getting less voltage at the output as compared to the primary voltage so in this way with the help of this configuration or this circuit we can operate the auto transformer as step down transformer okay and when we move this c point according to that we will get this different v2 values or variable v2 values according to the requirement okay in this way the auto transformer can be used as a step down transformer let's see how the same transformer same auto transformer can be used as a step up transformer okay now this is our winding and this is a point this is b point and this is c point now this a and b are connected to load a and b are points are connected to load that means this portion totally this portion are connected to load so this ab turns or ab winding acts as a secondary winding because it is connected to load and this c and b b is common for primary and secondary c and b we have having this supply single phase ac supply so cb winding will be acts as a primary winding okay so v2 will be n2 upon n1 into v1 this is same here n2 number of turns are greater than n1 n2 number of turns are greater than n1 and due to that v2 is greater than v1 because the voltage depends upon turn if we increase the turns voltage will be increased so from here to here the turns are increased because turns are more than this primary so v2 voltage will be more than this primary voltage so due to that this v2 is greater than v1 so we are getting more voltage at the load as compared to primary voltage so this configuration operates as step up transformer because in case of step up transformer we are getting high voltage at the load side than the primary side so this configuration or this connection of the auto transformer can be used when auto transformer is to be used as a step up transformer so in this way we can use the auto transformer as a step down step up transformer okay that means the same auto transformer can be used as a step up transformer and also step down transformer here the same this same transformer when we change the load and supply connections we can change its operating as a step up or step down the same auto transformer 
can be used as uh, as a step down transfer also and step up transformer also this is the speciality of this transformer okay now let's see what is the major differences between two winding transformer our conventional transformer and auto transformer construction in this auto transformer having only one winding but this two winding transformer as the name suggests two winding so it is it will be having the two windings all other core material and all other parameters are same but in case of transformer we have only one winding and in case of two winding transformer we have two windings okay then as we have only one winding so the losses in that winding will be less the losses in a transformer will be less as compared to two winding transformer losses are less so the auto transformer is more efficient than this two winding transformer because the losses are less as we are using only one winding as we are using only one winding so the size and the cost of this auto transformer is less than the two winding transformer because only we have the only one winding so size is reduced also the copper required for auto transformer is less than the two winding transformer because they in the two winding we have two windings and in case of auto transformer we have only one winding so copper requirement also less so from from that point of view the cost of the auto transformer is less than the two winding transformer okay and efficiency also more in than the two winding transformer so these are the benefits of this auto transformer but we have one major drawback of this auto transformer that there is no electrical isolation between primary and secondary in case of two winding transformer we have like this this is the symbol for two winding transformer we have separate primary winding and separate secondary winding there is no electrical contact electrical connection between this primary and secondary winding so the two circuits can be operate separately but here in case of auto transformer we have only one winding like this this is secondary suppose and this is primary there is no electrical isolation between this primary and secondary okay this is a drawback of auto transformer and where it is used the auto transformer can be used as a variac that means to vary the supply then start for the starting of ac motors and as a dimmer start to change the brightness of the lamp or to change the intensity of the lamp we use this auto transformer this two winding transformer have major applications like used as a mains transformer power supply welding transformer and isolation transformer okay this is the difference between auto transformer and two winding transformer this is all about the transformer the, its working principle emf equation of transformer efficiency voltage regulation and the auto transformer and comparison with the two winding transformer in the next session we will discuss the single phase induction motor okay till then stay tuned and keep learning thank you